Hey, how you doing? I'm Justin Watt. I'm from Benton, Arkansas. Today we're going to go over something very beautiful and spectacular. It's the voice of the Lord through the numerical pattern in the Bible, guys. Uh, today we're going to go over the number four, showing y'all today here at Central Station Flea Market. Everybody that's from Benton will definitely see something very beautiful and see how the number four means change, definitely. Because here at Central Station Flea Market, it used to be called Sutherland's. See? <laughs> So Sutherland's, it was in unity. It was one one body, one one name, Sutherland's. Okay, they went out of business, and then the building changed to Central Station Flea Market, guys. So today we're gonna go over number four is being changed in the Bible. Uh, the way you see that through Scripture, I always use First Corinthians thirteen eleven. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I acted like a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Okay, you also got. Uh, Job 5.18, for he bruises, but he binds up and he wounds, but his hands make whole. See, those two scriptures proves that problems come in three. They're really chastisements come in three. Okay, because he, for he bruises, but he binds up and he wounds, but his hands make whole. So he's got to break you down to change you. Okay, guys. But then you got God changed the man and they wrote four gospels. Samson got tempted about a lot of three times, but that fourth time he changed back to a regular man. He told his true powers. The four horsemen of the apocalypse are going to change the world as we know it. Okay, Lazarus was dead three days. That fourth day he changed back to being alive. All right. You got Daniel's three friends and the fourth looking like the Son of God. They changed because they didn't bat a bell, so they walked out of fire together. Here in 1 Kings. Chapter 6, it says, And it came to pass in the 480th year after the children of Israel came out of the land of Egypt, in the fourth year of Solomon's reign over Israel, in the month of Ziv. Ziv is April. Month of Ziv means April. So that's the fourth month. So the fours go with fours. Just like Jesus and the three crosses, three nails that hung him, three names above him, rose on the third day, went through life, death, and resurrection, preached the gospel for three years, and he got crucified at the age 33. Well, the fours go with fours. It's the same process. Okay, so in 1 Kings chapter 6, verse uh, 30, 31, it talks about a five-sided wall. Okay, one-fifth of the wall. But in verse 33, it changes to one uh, one fourth of the wall, which is a four sided wall. Okay. And then in verse 36 and 37, it says in first Kings chapter six, 36 and 37. And he built the inner court with three rows of on stone and a row of cedar beams. See the fourth option changes in the fourth year. This is verse 37 in the fourth year, the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid in the month of Ziv. <laughs> See how the fours go with four? Ziv is, Ziv is uh, the month of April in Hebrew. So Z-I-V, Ziv is the month of April. So it's the fours go with fours. So you got a one-fifth wall changes to one-fourth wall. Uh, you have a, uh, he turned three rows of on stone in, and one row was a cedar. See? Cedar. So then a cedar beam. And then verse 37, in the fourth year, the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid in the month of Ziv, which is the fourth month. <laughs> See, guys, the fours go with fours. It never changes. It just changes the seasons. The word of God changes the seasons. They don't change his word. His word is everlasting to everlasting. His word is uncorruptible. It's an imperishable crown. Right, you can't get rid of it. You can't kick. You can't kick it down. You can't. You can't break it. You can't beat scripture. Okay, you can use scripture to beat everything else because it's everlasting to everlasting. It never changes. It just changes the four seasons, guys. So let's show you how the wor uh, world uh, changes, but the word never changes. Okay, so United States of America it changed from Britain on the fourth of July. Now, the four founding fathers who changed this because they wrote the independence, okay? We used to say God saved the queen, but now our money says in God we trust. We changed, okay? You got the red, white, and blue colors of the flag, but the fourth thing is a star, not a color, and it's in a square panel, not a stripe. It changes, okay? You got you got the Nina the Pendant of Santa Maria, but the Mayflower is what changed him over here, okay? You got four quarters changed into a dollar, four quarter inches changed into an inch. 
Four seasons change a year. Four weeks change a month. Four tires change your location on your vehicle. You got three choices of gas for direction, but that fourth one is a diesel, not a gas. It changes. Okay, you got speed limit 45. When you get to speed limit 55, you change speed. Road work 1,500 feet. This proves that fours go with fours too, because you got road, four letters, work, four letters, 1,500s, four numbers, and feet's four letters, but it's only in twos because it's on the bottom line to keep it in perfect order for direction, okay? Because you got numbers and name on the bottom line for division, double, three, treble. It's all in, it's all in numerical sequence, guys. God's voice to us, the Holy Spirit, is the numbers, okay? The numbers are God, okay? The numbers, strength comes in numbers, power comes in numbers, right? Okay, it's all about God's timing. This is exactly what this is, all right? People call it science. There is no science. If God's voice to us for the number four means change in every single pattern. I got a home. What changed me? H-O-M-E. It's got four corners and my address is 407, guys. It's simply, simply spoken to us directly from the Holy Spirit. Just like it's supposed to be from the biblical days all the way till now. That's exactly what this is, you're looking at. You're looking at Daniel's three friends in the fourth looking like the Son of God walks out of the fire together. That's what you're seeing when you see heaven changes from earth because heaven ain't got earth, wind, fire, water, elements to destroy, and it ain't got north, south, east, or west, the four corners of the earth. See, that's how heaven changes from earth. Okay? You got a four-way stop. You go, I go. You go, I go. We change turns. The stop sign itself, S-T-O-P. Okay, you change acceleration. See, guys, it's every single scenario. This is how the worlds were framed by the Word of God is because the Word of God is everything. The Word of God has created all this for Himself and has chosen us to carry us as a vessel inside of us. See? That's all He wants is a relationship with us, to be part of Him and to diligently seek Him and His Word and, and to see Him in everything. This is what Godhead looks like. This is exactly what Godhead looks like, fleshly, uh, through the eyes of the flesh. As you see God's voice in everything. You don't see you don't see road signs and wonders. You see signs and wonders like King Nebuchadnezzar was talking about in Daniel chapter 4. <laughs> he pulled that one out of the hat, didn't he? I love the Lord for that one. <laughs> there ain't nothing magical about this. There ain't no hat. But anyway, the truth of the matter is, here at Central Station Flea Market, it used to be Sutherland's, so it changed. It had to be called Central Station Flea Market because it changes, guys. You see? It changes. You see what we're talking about here through the eyes of the Spirit? Don't, don't, don't trust and believe in my truthful word because I ain't got it. The only word I have that's truthful is the word of God. The true powers of the Holy Spirit that dwells inside of me. The one that's showing you all this. The one that gave me all the ambition and courage and confidence and boldness that I have to walk about this earth and be a fisher of men and women uh, and show y'all that the, the true powers of the Holy Spirit ex exists and that the Word of God exists in everything. And, and, and this is your living, breathing proof and living, breathing hope that if I have it, a simpleton, somebody of my statue, somebody can't hardly pronounce words or read or write or spell, I don't know where to put a comma at or where to put a pronunciation, any kind of, uh, 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 what's it called? Not a pronunciation. <laughs> See, a period, you know, stuff like that. You know, uh, exclamation mark, question mark. Don't even get me to use it. The only time I ever put a period in a sentence when you double space tap on the space bar on your phone. <laughs> Yeah, have a beautiful day. God bless you. Please subscribe at the bottom. You're not following me. You're following the true powers of the Holy Spirit that's teaching you all these things. I promise you, I promise you it's not me teaching you none of this. It's just Him giving me understanding as I diligently seek that Word of God in, in the biblical uh, Bible that He has given me, the New King James, uh, for direction from the Holy Spirit. And... It just pours upon my heart because it manifests in my heart with love and compassion for the Word of God because the Word of God is everything and, and it puts the fear of God into me where I don't want to do nothing but what He tells me to do. In the name of Jesus. Y'all have a beautiful day. God bless you.